Hey beauties, welcome to the Clean Beauty Podcast. Did you know that unlike most everything else in America, cosmetics are not regulated? This means that corporations can use thousands of potentially harmful ingredients that I personally know can cause health problems. I'm your host, Cassandra McClure. I've been in the beauty business for over 10 years as a celebrity makeup artist that advocates for safer and more sustainable cosmetics. Join me each week for important news, exclusive interviews, and more on the clean beauty revolution. This episode is proudly sponsored by LashBinder.com, a patent-pending tool that I developed to be the quickest, easiest, and safest way to apply lashes on yourself and clients. If you've ever tried applying lashes, you either use your fingers, which is pretty hard to master, a pair of tweezers, which can be super scary, or you were lucky enough to have a friend like me help you. Those days are long gone with Lash Binder, an applicator that'll have you looking fabulous in under a minute. Are you ready to say goodbye to expensive, damaging, and time-consuming lash extensions or hours spent in the mirror applying makeup? Don't you wish you could apply lashes easy and just go? Let your skin glow and your confidence skyrocket with the perfect pair of lashes applied with Lash Binder. Lash Binder is truly the lash tool you'll ever need. Be the first to get your hands on one today exclusively at lashbinder.com. Be sure to find us on Instagram at lashbinder, L A S H B I N D E R. Links in the show notes. Happy lashing. Hi, beauties. So excited for today. I have Kelly Rompel on. She is a mindset empowerment coach pharmacist, and best-selling author specializing in natural anxiety relief, which we all need sometimes. So she is the author of Don't Tell Me to Relax, host of the Rebel White Coat, White Coat podcast, which I was just on, so you guys have to go check it out, and creator of her program, Limitless. Kelly combines her pharmacy knowledge with her love for natural medicine and helps ambitious women lower anxiety, manage stress, and recover from burnout without lowering their standards for their business or personal life. Kelly is also a mom. She is amazing. I just did an interview over on her podcast. It was really cool. We talked all about clean beauty. And I know that you guys think you know everything like listening to the podcast over here, but honestly, there was so much that I covered in the new episode. So many uh, new amazing products that I talked about. Like, I dropped major knowledge on everyone and like there's so many truth bombs. So go check it out. Oh um, make sure. And Kelly, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I'm so excited to chat with you and we're doing a live Zoom. So you might hear some banter about us like seeing each other, but we were both <laughs> hanging out, doing our thing, doing our podcast day. And it's so, so fun. Yes. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. This is going to be a fun girl chat. Just like our interview on my podcast. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So let's talk about um, your story because before you became a mindset empowerment coach and you got into, you know, anxiety relief, I'm sure you struggled with your own anxiety, right? Mm, so yeah. talk through all of that, your mini story so that we can get into how you're now a coach and also you were a pharmacist. So maybe it's just crazy to hear that that's your background. So I want to hear more on that and yeah. just um, who you are, where you're from and where you're at right now. Yeah. So hello, everybody. Yes. So my name's Kelly Rompel. I am from a small town in Illinois, right across the, the river from Missouri. And yes, I'm a pharmacist by trade, but I actually am a very crunchy, holistic, loving, natural medicine, loving woman who actually has a coaching practice helping women take a more natural approach to their mindset. So that means getting off of unnecessary medications, um, getting onto the right vitamin, whole food vitamin regimens, just taking a very holistic approach to their health. So I, I love to, to kind of give um, my clients a look at anxiety in their mindset. Like they never really imagined, I guess people don't really understand that there's so many 
different reasons we have mindset issues. And anxiety is my specialty, so I'll kind of speak to that. But it's, it's all about spirituality, emotional issues, situational issues, chemical issues, you know, our environment. There's a lot of different things that go into our mindset. And everyone thinks that it's just a chemical issue because we go to the doctor, they hand us a prescription, they say you're anxious or you're depressed. Here's a medication. It's a chemical issue. There's nothing you can do about it. And then three minutes later, you're walking out the door. A couple months later, you're walking back through the door to get an increase in your dose. And this cycle repeats and it just makes me sad because it, medications are toxins as well. And I'm not anti-medication. I'm a pharmacist. I believe in medications, but I do believe that they're overused. And I want women to understand that their mindset isn't just a chemical issue that is going to be resolved by a medication. You are not an anxious person or a depressed person because you are deficient of a medication. That's not, that's not possible. So a little bit of my background, how I got started and, and doing this type of work. I have always been a very anxious person. I have high functioning anxiety, which I really didn't realize in, until a few years ago when I started coaching. And I, it was this pivotal moment in my story where there's a lot of little mini stories that kind of filter in, but this pivotal moment where I had been training for this half marathon. I was running for months straight. I hate running. And I don't know why I was doing it. It was just on my to-do list, my bucket list, my my list of things that I needed to accomplish. And I was running this half marathon, crossing the finish line, and I thought it was going to be this amazing, proud moment, miraculous moment where I was going to just, I would feel so accomplished, right? And I crossed that finish line and immediately, like my leg cramps hadn't even set in yet. And I was like, what's next? This wasn't good enough. What's next? What am I going to do now with my free time? I, I need to fill my mind with something because I, I couldn't sit still. And so I wasn't even proud of myself. I was immediately anxious, wondering what's next. And it hit me really hard that day because I went home and I didn't need to train anymore. And I, I had to sit with my own thoughts. And it was really hard to do. I was in a loveless, toxic relationship and marriage that was heading for divorce. I had just built this amazing huge home that and I just got the car I had all the things I was driving the Cadillac had the nice big ranch brick home that custom built I had all the things right and I was miserable and I hated the life that I had created and I hated the fact more than that that I I was on this pattern of toxic relationships hating myself and really living my life according to other people's standards. And I didn't really realize like that's what high functioning looked like for me. I high functioning anxiety looked like for me. I was just on this, these toxic patterns of, of self-hatred and achievement. I was stuck in what I call the achievement trap and nothing was ever good enough. And I was trying to, I was trying to suppress my emotions and kind of not deal with life and I realized that I didn't feel worthy unless I was always striving for something and like achieving and proving my worth through my success and letters behind my name and accolades and all these things that really don't freaking matter because I had all those things and I was really still miserable. So I realized it was time to get divorced, get rid of a lot of toxic things that were going on in my life. I'm talking toxic energy. I was eating like shit, drinking all the time, and just had a lot of things that it was time to let go of. So I just, I kind of hit this rock bottom moment and I shifted gears and I was really into fitness. Obviously I was into running and all these things, but I was, I just was trying to keep my mind busy. So I started um, coaching women in fitness. And the more women that I coached in fitness, I realized that they were trying to fix external problems that were really internal. And the more I was speaking to them, it was a lot of mindset work and not really had anything to do with their fitness or working out. And so I shifted into mindset work and I grew a love for natural medicine and spirituality. And I, had, there was a time in my life during my marriage where I was put on an antidepressant because they told me I was anxious and I was so anxious that I was depressed. Like that's what they told me. And so I said, okay, because you listen to the doctor. And they gave me an antidepressant, Lexapro. I took it. I hated it. I hated the way I felt. And I knew I needed to have, I needed to take a more natural approach because I couldn't sleep all afternoon. Like that's not my speed. Like I'm a go, go, go. And this medication made me feel like a numb zombie 
who wanted to sleep all afternoon. I'm like, this isn't my speed. I'm not living this. This has got to change. And so I started looking into more natural remedies, realizing that gut, play, gut health plays a huge role, vitamins play a huge role, having faith and spirituality and getting rid of toxic ass shit in your life. It all plays a role. And so I started to make that shift and started to kind of fix some things that were going on. And next thing you know, women are coming to me. What are you doing? You're so different. You're so vibrant. You have different energy about you. And so I started helping them with their own mindset and their natural medicine. And all, you know, just, it's, it's, it's a slow progression. So here I am. I'm that pharmacist who gives out medications during the day and gets women off their medications at night. <laughs> So I, just to give listeners a background, because we didn't even go over that, we basically like connected through Pays to Be Brave, which was Angie Lee's event in San Diego last year. And it was like amazing coaches, like um, best-selling authors, you're going to be one soon, right? And just like all of these amazing people, it's like where I got inspired to do the podcast is where she was going to uh, figure out her kind of path. And it's like, sometimes you need events. So just... A little tip to anyone who's like, who doesn't believe or isn't allowed to go or can't feel like they can't because they have kids or husbands and things like that. Like, sometimes you need to go somewhere alone, like really alone, not with a girlfriend, to not feel so alone, just like by yourself and really just immerse yourself in with other high vibe women uh, like yourself. And like, you know, that's how we connected. And I just think it's, there, it's a it's a it's a process just like anything and so love I love everything you said but I feel like you, like you said you, you shifted who you were around your energy your um you know, who you were spending time with what you were eating like it's a little bit of everything and you yeah. know perfect but I love that you shared your really like personal story and I will also say that I listened to your mindset shift I don't know if that's what it's called the episode where I think I wrote you and I was like oh my yeah. god I, think I have high functioning anxiety too yes I still have to listen to that episode because it spoke to me and I was crying in the car driving back from a job and I was like oh my god like I didn't even know this about myself so I'm learning so much on on her podcast and like you know going to a specialist and getting prescribed medications it's expensive so you can do the free version and go listen to her podcast so it's pretty amazing um so so yeah so what else like so tell us then what did you do once you started like when did the book come into play like how long were you doing these um private mentoring sessions with like what family friends people you knew and like how did that all work and how old are your kids like where where are you at family wise did you get remarried or did you fix your marriage yeah Yeah, no so I got divorced um and got remarried and I have a four-year-old a two-year-old and an (laughs) eight-month-old Yeah. Yeah. So, and I I really just discovered that anxiety looks different for a lot of people. And a lot of times people will hear, well, I don't, or they'll say like, I have panic attacks and let people like, well, I don't have panic attacks. So I don't have anxiety. I don't have panic attacks either. Like that's not how mine manifests. Mine manifests as being that go getter who won't quit and who eventually burns out because she can't stop. She won't sit down. She feels like she's got something to prove. And it just is this, this pattern of loving the struggle almost. It was a, an addiction actually. And it all kind of plays into this high functioning aspect of being somebody who, who really needs to learn. Um, I had to learn the balance and I don't like that word because I really feel like it probably doesn't exist um, ever, but I really had to do this delicate dance back and forth of when do I hustle? When do I pull it back in? When is it family time? When is it work time? And when is it, when is my masculine energy driving? When is my feminine energy going to take the wheel? And it's just like this back and forth and it's the awareness. And so that's what I really love for my clients to start with, my listeners to become aware of. It's this awareness around your mindset because you are not, you don't have a chance in hell of fixing anything to do with your mindset if you are not aware of it first. And so for me, that first step was that awareness around, okay, this is what I'm experiencing. Now what? And so then it was just kind of slowly looking into every aspect of my life and, and getting rid of things that were toxic to me and increasing my anxiety. So for that, for me, it meant 
getting out of bad relationship patterns. I had to reduce my stress. I had to quit giving myself so many deadlines that didn't even exist. Like I've always been that person that works during the day and hustles at night, has a side gig. And I would put all these unnecessary deadlines and things that didn't exist on a pressure. I would put pressure on myself. And what it really boiled down to was that I had this addiction to struggle. It made me feel worthy when I struggled to achieve something because if there was no struggle behind it, it wasn't a worthy achievement in my mind. And it's so sick to like, I hate thinking about it that way. Now it's like, man, why, why did I ever feel like that was the truth? But that was my truth. Like that's, I was addicted to the struggle and that lasted for a long time. And until I realized that I, I, I didn't know what I was doing. I just knew that I was having a hard time in every aspect of life, even after I got remarried. And I'm super, me and my husband have a great relationship. Our kids are fantastic. We moved onto this beautiful property and we're building a house and like everything is really good. We're doing all the things that our, our dreams are coming true. But I still had, I had to come to this place of like, is this working for me? Like, am I living this life for me or am I living this life for somebody else? And I no longer need to prove my worth. I just live because I, I'm living the way that I want to. I'm living the way that, that feels good to me. And the motivation behind my work now is not for achievement sake, for ego, or to prove something to somebody. It's because I'm, it's passion driven. It's purpose driven. And um, yeah, so just, and I know you're big into to clean beauty and releasing toxins and all those things. And I think it really, really starts there. Um, and that's where I start with my clients is getting rid of the toxic things in your life, improving your gut health and giving your body and your mind what it needs in order to do what it needs to do. Giving yourself that space to be the person that you're supposed to be without all the things, without all the doing, start being instead of doing. And so I still struggle with it. Sometimes I have to learn to pull pull it back in and, and kind of give myself a pep talk and say, you're doing too much. You're hustling too much. You're kind of being an asshole to people that are closest to you because you're stressed out. You're spread thin. It's time to, uh, it's awareness, right? It's time to say enough is enough and give it a rest for a minute. Learn to live and instead of hustling all the time. Yes. <laughs> I like that you said there, there isn't really a thing as balance because I've always I've always struggled with that and I definitely I don't know if you want to call it perfectionism because yes. I'm not really like I have to have it perfect I just want to like do 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 like do all the reports like turn everything in and then like do the next thing and so you know without that hustle I wouldn't be where I'm at and neither would you but you know you're right I mean I just had that experience last night with my fiance he's like I don't feel good and you're on your computer. Like, why aren't you taking care of me? And I had to step back and say, I'm going to put away my phone. Let me come rub your back and treat you like a baby because that's all I have at the end of this. And so is it really worth it for me to make one more sale or line up one more event? I'm just like, mm -hmm. you know, it's true. It's kind of your family and your friends. And if you're going to neglect all of them, then, you won't have anyone at the end to celebrate it with. And so exactly. he reminds me sometimes, I remind myself sometimes, and then sometimes there will be actual signs of like, oh, our health, our family, our something is like important that needs us. That's way more important than this beauty event that I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I get it. But uh, yeah, the struggle is real. It is. <sighs> it, okay. it is. And it's... The awareness around it and being able to look at it from a holistic point of view and seeing it from all angles because it's never just the one thing. But I do want to dive into the gut health part of it because I am big on um, gut health because that's a lot of people don't realize. And when we think of mindset and we think of anxiety or depression, uh, a lot of times women will automatically think what we're taught, right? That it's all in your brain. It's a chemical issue that starts in your brain and that's actually not the full story. And it's not just a chemical issue. Your gut is producing the majority, like we're talking 85 plus percent of your, 
the majority of your calm, mood stabilizing chemicals, your happy chemicals like serotonin and the things that keep you happy and calm and stable mood. Your gut is producing those things. Your gut cannot produce those things that if it's toxin overloaded and inflamed. So I'm really big on reducing inflammation in your gut first and foremost, because we have to give our body what it needs, right? We have to, um, you know, it's our gut health. So it, it all stems from that. So that looks like reducing processed foods, taking whole food, vitamin nutrition, treating your body right from the inside out. Um, and I'm not perfect either. Like I would be the first to say I eat processed foods. I'm a busy mom and that's just the way it is sometimes. But if you know you're somebody who doesn't have a perfect diet, which none of us do, um, even if you are somebody who has a, a quote unquote great diet, you're eating lots of fruit and vegetables all day long. I'm sorry, our soil is depleted. We have chemicals all over our food. And now we have to eat just a ridiculous amount of fruits and vegetables in order to get what our bodies need. So I'm big on whole food vitamin nutrition and doing consults around that and helping women take these the, the right supplements because I didn't know up until very recently, I should know these things because I went to pharmacy school. I didn't know there's a very big difference in vitamins. There's whole food vitamins that come from food that are real. And then there's vitamins that are lab created that are dangerous and our body doesn't really know what, to, what the hell to do with them and they're very cheap, okay? They're the ones that you're gonna find on the drug, the drug shelves at the, the store, right? The, the Walgreens and CVS and the drug stores on the corner. You can grab any old multivitamin off the shelf and you don't know what's in that bottle. It's just like the cosmetic products that you speak of. Like a lot of this stuff isn't regulated, unfortunately, and your body doesn't know what to do with it. It doesn't know how to absorb it. And it just adds to the gut inflammation and the gut inflammation means less happy chemicals, it means more anxiety, more depression, more toxins, liver overload, vicious, vicious cycle. And so I always start there with my clients because it's so, so important um, to get the right vitamin regimen on board. And that, that then goes into the rest of your life, right? It improves your skin, it improves your energy, improves, improves your eyesight. All the organs in your body are, are vitamin depleted. You know, just, we need good vitamins on board. So I really always stress that because I'm just a giant vitamin snob. I can't help it because it's so important. And the research is out there to back it up. You know, I do have that pharmacist side of me that needs like that to grasp onto some kind of research and science-based evidence. And the research is out there and shows there's a huge difference between um, lab-created vitamins that are junk and whole food vitamins. And so big believer in that. So I, I will get off my soapbox about it, but um, I, get, I just get really passionate about it because it is so important for our bodies. And uh, I don't know. So that's, that's one thing. I always, I always start there because I really feel like that's the easiest part of it. I feel like that gives my clients a quick win. They feel better. Their gut inflammation goes down. They feel less bloated. They're actually pooping when they should be. And they feel good, right? You, your, their skin starts to glow. Their hair starts to grow. All of those things start to happen. Your body reacts the way it should when it gets what it needs to get. Okay, so I start there. Then I work with my clients around the emotions, right? So the stuff that they've been through in the past that's still coming up and they haven't worked through, the situational stuff that's going on around them right now, their toxic patterns. And then we also work with spirituality. Anxiety has a spiritual component as well. So I'm a little woo-woo and I'm, you know, I'm this hippy-dippy pharmacist. I'm like the weirdo at work that's got crystals in her pockets and sage and shit. But I, that's just... I, I can see and respect all sides, the medical side, the spiritual side, the natural medicine side, all of it plays a role. And I think that's my, my biggest message to people is to realize that you have to be an advocate for yourself. Don't just because somebody with a white coat gave you a diagnosis and handed you a medication that's toxic doesn't mean that that's the final answer. I'm not against medication. They save lives, but I am telling you, that it's not always the answer and that you have other choices. There's other options. There's other avenues that you can take in order to feel better. Okay. I love that. So medicine is not always necessary is what I'm no. hearing. Yeah. And so I just have to go back a little because you said that there's no regulation on the 
some of the pills. And I thought that food and beverage, like the FDA, mon- like monitors that. Is that not true? not true for supplements? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Unfortunately, a lot of things that even our FDA approved aren't like, they're not tested. They're not um, NSF certified, meaning they're not like what's on the bottle doesn't actually mean that's what's in the bottle. There's, there's no testing involved there, unfortunately. So that's just, that's just the way it is. And the vitamins that I'll take, that I take um, are considered whole food vitamins. So they come from fruits, vegetables, and berries. And they don't even have a vitamin label on the bottle. And this really confused me when I started taking these supplements because I was reading the bottle and like, it's got like five things listed. What the heck am I taking? Like, you know, you take a multivitamin from the store and there's like 50 vitamins listed on it. All these crazy percentages that none of us really know if that's good, that's bad. And so when I started taking the whole food vitamins, I'm like, well, where's all the ingredients? Well, it's from, it has, it's a food. So it has food packaging, which it like, okay. So if you eat an apple, let's, let's use this as an example. If you eat an apple, there's, there's no way that they can put on the package of an apple. What's all in the apple. There's like 10,000 things. There's vital nutrients, antioxidants, vitamins, all these things that your body needs that all work synergistically together. There's no way they can put that on a package. Right. And so the same goes with like whole food, vitamin nutrition, they, there's no way to put everything on, on a package that's inside of that because come, it comes from food. And a lot of it comes from the actual peels of, of fruits and vegetables that we would never eat, right? And so a lot of the nutrition is in the peel too. So, um, and your body knows what to do with it because it's food. That's what our body wants. It's what our body craves. It's what our body needs, not some lab created BS that it doesn't even recognize. Okay. So, I, it's just crazy because I naturally always had this instinct that I didn't want to do ingestibles and pills and I had tried them and I usually get really, I'm sensitive in the stomach, I guess, because mm-hmm. even I would take like a multivitamin and then I felt like I was going to throw up. Yes. I had a, a very weird st- feeling in my stomach. So mm-hmm. I avoid basically everything. And I take like one superfood elixir right now yeah. in my coffee, but I still like, my tongue gets like yellow or, or, or orange and like I, I I taste it and so it freaks me out a little but it doesn't make my my body freak out and I'm not breaking out from it but I wanted to ask about vitamin absorption because I've read so many things that you know because I, I always want to take vitamins if I can and you know the gummy ones are actually tasting good so yeah. you know <laughs> research and my fiance was like stop getting those on amazon your body can't absorb Mm, mm -hmm. so i looked it up and i read like 10 articles and most of them said like no your body cannot absorb vitamins right and like it doesn't really work and vitamins aren't a thing and so i'm hearing the opposite from you and as a pharmacist i want to know how our body Mm. absorbs these vitamins and how they might not absorb some and then they're absorbing others and how does our body know the difference yeah Yeah. So the best way I can answer that is that, first of all, if your body's not going to absorb hardly anything, if it's inflamed and of poor health. And so unfortunately, most of our guts are very inflamed and we're not absorbing vitamins and nutrients, even just from food. Let's just start with food that that we're eating. Our guts are inflamed because of what we're eating and our environmental toxins and a lot of things. And so we have this gut flora, good and bad bacteria. That's a delicate balance in our gut. And that gut flora is everything, right? That is, that is what keeps our gut in good health. And uh, our gut runs our immune system too. So we'll, we can touch on that in a minute. But um, so that is one of the reasons why I always recommend good probiotics as well. And, but to answer your question, we have to have good good balance of good and bad gut bacteria, right? And so when that balance is off, you're not absorbing vitamins like you should be from food, from whatever. It doesn't matter the source. You're not absorbing it like you should be. Now I too, I have to confess, I, I, like I said, with my clients, I start them all on a vitamin regimen to start with, um, just to give them what their body needs so they can make the, the right chemicals that they need in order to feel good. Right? So I was sending them to Amazon. I, I guess I just, I didn't really know much be- any better and I was reading the reviews and I, you know, you think if something's FDA approved, we're good to go, 
But unfortunately, I really kind of felt like I was falling out of integrity doing that because I literally didn't know where that bottle was being sourced from, especially from Amazon. Unfortunately, you know, people can label and relabel things all day long. So I really, I felt out of integrity sending my clients there anymore. Not to mention I was using like 10 or 15 different supplements from Amazon and I thought there's got to be a better way. So I actually reached out to another pharmacist friend of mine who I knew was taking a different vitamin regimen and she swore by it. And so I reached out to her and I said, I need a one company that I can trust, that I know test their products that I can send my clients to. And um, she told me about these whole food vitamins she was taking. So I was like, well, I'll give them a try. So I tried them and I'm breastfeeding right now. My hair's falling out like crazy. I feel like I've been run, run over by a truck every single day when I wake up. I feel hungover. Like I feel really, really hungover in the mornings. So I started taking these vitamins. Literally within three days, I no longer felt that way in the morning. My hair started growing back. I'm still breastfeeding. Like I mean, it never grows back until I'm done for like months. And so I started seeing results immediately, the way I was feeling and my skin and my hair and all these things. And I'm like, wow, I've never felt vitamins work before until now. And I've taken vitamins forever. I've always believed in them, uh, but I've never felt them work before. I thought there's something to a product that comes from food. And so the best way that I could, I knew to think of it was my body's absorbing it because it, know, it knows what it is. It's just like putting any other chemical in your body, whether it's from a product or it doesn't matter what it is. If your body doesn't recognize it, it starts to go a little haywire. You know, it's just like any other toxin. Toxins, toxin buildup can cause mood disorders, um, disease, uh, cancers, lots of things. So it, our, our body just, if it doesn't recognize something, it either attacks it or goes a haywire or it gets stored as a toxin or, you know, our liver has to detoxify it and push it out of our body. So when you take the right vitamin regimen that your body can grasp onto and say, oh my gosh, I actually know what this is because we're supposed to be getting our vitamin supplements or our vitamins from food. It's just that our food's depleted and we eat like garbage anymore. Our body recognizes it and it's like, oh my gosh, you flood it with all this good stuff and you're going to get good results from it. That's just the natural process. Whereas a lot of these lab created vitamins, your body doesn't really recognize that well. And so, and not to mention a lot of these lab created vitamins don't have probiotics in them. And that's what restores that good and bad, bad, are good and bad gut bacteria, which you need in order to absorb them. So it's, it's all about the probiotics. It's all about the, the whole food vitamins and getting your gut um, in better, uh, better health so you can actually absorb everything. Does that answer your question? Does that make sense? Yeah, so most are not being absorbed because your body won't really ab absorb it because it doesn't recognize it. Yeah, yeah. So I guess I feel like it's a little bit different for cosmetics because our bodies are absorbing those things we're putting mm -hmm. on that are potentially toxic, yeah. right? And that's how that's how we're getting cancers. That's how we're having infertility issues. That's how we're having all these issues. So I guess it's just weird that uh, I guess because our skin is an organ it's not protected with, by the gut. Is that what I don't? Well, it's being how. absorbed. It's just not being used. Does that make better yeah. sense? It's like, like just with any other toxin or something that you ingest, it absorbs it. It's taking it in, but it's not using it. It's not using the phytonutrients. It's not using all the vitamins, all the antioxidants that come from food. It's, it's not using them because it doesn't, it's not, it's not food sourced. It's not, um, they don't work synergistically together. It doesn't have that combination of, like I said, antioxidants, phytonutrients, all these things that are supposed to work together, that are supposed to be in our food. So it's, it's not that you're not, I guess absorbing it is the wrong word. It's not that you're not absorbing it. It's just that your body doesn't know what to do with it. When it knows what to do with it, it sees it, it recognizes it, it takes it in and absorbs it and uses it. That's when you get all the good effects from it. Okay. Um, so is there, um, so naturally my next question is to ask about probiotics because I don't know yes. much about them. So can we talk about those? 
Yeah. So probiotics are super important. Um, and going back to the gut, it, go, it all goes back to the gut health. <laughs> our gut runs everything, our immune system, our mood, all of it. And a lot of even autoimmune disorders um, start in the gut as well. So probiotics, what they do is they balance that good and bad gut bacteria in our body. And that balance is what keeps our gut healthy. So if you are someone who's shopping for a probiotic, the things that you want to look for, there's um, your, your gut has a lot of different, we'll call it gut flora. So a lot of different strains of bacteria. There's a lot of different types, right? So if you're shopping for a probiotic, you want to buy one that has a lot of different strains a lot of different types uh, of organisms and a lot of organisms. You will find probiotics that don't um, even clarify, um, like clearly on the label, how many organisms they have. They should definitely be telling you how many organisms they have and they should definitely be in the millions or billions, like that many. It's definitely, it's important because you gotta think like these probiotics are, are alive. And by the time they get from the, the store shelf to your body, a lot of them are dead. So, uh, and then by the time you ingest them and they get from the stomach to the gut, a lot of them die off there too. So you got to pick a product that has a very large strain uh, of um, a very large, I guess, a large quantity of the organisms and also very, uh, very um, diverse organisms as far as the different strains. So look for one that has both. Um, if you're a lot of the drugs, again, we're going back to like the, the, the shops that you'll see on the, that you'll see on the corner and a lot of their probiotics, they'll be like lactobacillus. You'll see like one, one strain lactobacillus and they won't even tell you how many are in the bottle. Just don't even waste your money. I mean, and I hate to like dog on other products, but it's the truth. I want people to not waste their money and to buy something that's of good quality. So um, I would love, I, I do vitamin consults and what's unfortunately with the whole food vitamins that I take and I recommend to my clients, there's already probiotics in them as there should be coming from fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables are a natural source of probiotics, but we're just not getting enough of them. So these are all, the probiotics are already in these whole food vitamins. So you don't have to go out and buy another probiotic. It's not a bad idea, but I'm just saying when you buy the, the right quality vitamins, it's already inside. Okay. So you call them food falsifications? Yes. Okay. So you would ask me like what I eat, what I'm not eating. Like I don't eat bananas. And then you give me something that has more. Oh, you're cutting out a little bit. What'd you say? It's hard to hear you. So you would recommend that if I'm not eating a lot of fruits and veggies to give me some stuff that's more fruits and veggie nutrients? Yeah, yeah, definitely. If you're not, if you're not eating like, um, like 20 fruits and vegetables a day, you should be on a whole food vitamin supplementation. You really should. It's, it's important. Um, like, as, like I said before, even if, you're, if you have a really good diet, our, our food is just not as good quality as it used to be. Our soil is depleted. We've got chemicals on our food. I don't care if you're eating 100% organic everything and you're eating fruits and vegetables all day. You can benefit from giving your body more phytonutrients and antioxidants and the vitamins that it needs from a vitamin regimen that that's, comes sourced from food. Um, and you'll see the effects right away. You'll feel it. And that's the number one thing that I that I hear from my clients when I start them on the right regimen that for them is like, oh my gosh, I feel it immediately. I've got good energy. I feel awake in the morning and um, they have regular bowel movements. I'm sorry, but it's, I, I hate to go there, but it's a very, it's a big problem. And if you are not, if you are somebody who has got chronic constipation issues, that is a, that is a definite sign of toxin overload uh, or maybe poor diet. Um, maybe even dehydration, but you should 100% be <laughs> going to the bathroom probably more often than you are. And you got to think about it this way, going to the bathroom um, releases toxins. You're pushing through the toxins out of your body. And so that's a really important process. And for those that aren't doing that on a daily basis or are chronically constipated, you're leaving toxins in your body longer than you should. And it's just, you're going to feel so much better if you get on a regimen that allows you to cleanse your body more. 
okay, so you're recommending one or one or two times a day you should be going? Yeah, I would say once a day is to be healthy, yeah. And I can't speak for everybody, but it's it's pretty important to be to be regularly going to the bathroom, yeah. And what do you recommend? Is there a certain system that you recommend for um, these probiotics and vitamins? Yes. So the the ones that I use, uh, I, I use from a, a company called Juice Plus. And this company has been around for 50 years. They are the most highly studied whole food vitamin company. Um, they are in all the highly uh, regulated and um, published articles out there. All like the the um, studies that I used to have to sit down and I hated doing this in pharmacy school, but I'd have to like go to the library. This is before all this internet stuff. And I would like go to the library and pull all these articles and read all these studies and like these highly regulated studies out there, like the New England Journal of Medicine. Juice Plus is, has these, these studies done, whereas a lot of these other vitamin companies just they don't have the, the studies or the research to back them up. So, and they're good for everything. I, I speak a lot to mindset, but we're talking also diabetes, cholesterol, um, your eyesight, a lot of different things that, you know, are a lot of disease that we're seeing, autoimmune issues. It's imp like vitamin deficiency can lead to so many problems and disease that I think it's not the first thing that we think about when we get diagnosed with something, we don't go, oh, I need a vitamin because that seems so basic, right? You, if we all take vitamins. We all are taking like a, you know, I grew up on Flintstones. I've taken multivitamins for years, but I guess I just didn't realize for the longest time that quality is everything. Where the vitamin is sourced from is everything. And so this juice, uh, Juice Plus. Plus Company is an NSF certified mm -hmm. company. Okay. Yeah. And why haven't the general, like, I've never heard of it. So why is that? And is it <laughs> where, where can I get it? Yeah. So um, you can, you can come, you can get it through me. Um, it is another one of those uh, companies that they, they thought person to person, word of mouth would be best. And um, it's one of my favorite things to do, actually, is to get on the phone, do a vitamin consult for people who, uh, people come to me for a lot of different reasons, not just mindset. They have, there's a lot of different diseases and ailments out there that could benefit from vitamins. So I do free consults. So, so yeah, you can um, get a free consult from me. I would be happy to hook you up with some Juice Plus. You can try it out and, and see how much you love it, too. But yeah, you can feel free to reach out to me, get in my DMs, or I'll give you all my info that you can post in your show notes. But um, I'm happy to do those consults. It's actually very fun for me because I get all the good messages back from people raving about how they feel. That's awesome. I would love to know more. Uh, what is the price point for something like this? Is it a monthly subscription that you get? Yeah. So price on this, what I take, and this is just, I'll just speak from the regimen that I take and recommend to my clients. So I take a combination of fruits, vegetables, and vitamin capsules. And I also take an omega blend. And I'll speak briefly about the omegas. Um, they are sourced from, everything's plant-based, right? So I know a lot of times when people think of omegas, omegas, first of all, are great for brain health, eye health, inflammation. We need them for a lot of different reasons. But a lot of these omegas that you're typically hear of are, are sourced like we think of fish oil, right? But there's really no need to get these omegas from the fish because the fish are only high in omegas because they're eating the greens. So I love what this company did. They go directly to the plants and that's where the, they source their omegas from. So they're high quality, potent omegas. And I take those in addition to the fruits, vegetables, and berry blends. So this combination, if you just do the, I call it the trio of the fruits, vegetables, and berries, you're looking at roughly $70 a month. Um, and if you add the omegas onto it, you're looking at roughly $100 a month for all of them. Um, so I, for me, the price <laughs> has saved me money because I was that girl who was using 10 or 15 different supplements. I was doing all the green juice. And prior to this too, I was juicing too. So I've been able to save money instead of juicing. Uh, I was growing my own wheatgrass there for a while in my kitchen. What a pain in the ass. So I, I've stopped juicing. I've got rid of all my other vitamins and supplements. I had a huge shelf of them, and I just take these four things now. 
That is so cool. I am excited yeah. to do a um, vitamin uh, consultation with you after yes. the job so that I can get on and then share my experience later because I've never, you know, I, you, you touched on getting up early. For me, I definitely like have to have coffee in bed to even get out of yeah. it. Um, there's, I'm always tired. I'm, you know, sometimes I don't know if it'll help with anxiousness and other things, but I'm excited to try, to try, um, the system, at least one of them or the trio, because I, um, yeah, I've just never really had or tried anything that actually worked that I yeah. wanted to, um, talk about. And so it's something that I feel like is being skipped over and with working from home and not having like you know, I have Whole Foods down the street, but that gets expensive. I'm there all the time just buying mm-hmm. you know, fresh food and it's just like time consuming too. So it'll be nice to know I'm nourishing my body in the right way. So, well, I love all of this. Thank you so much for all this info. You're welcome. Um, let's just talk about your book too and yeah. really what, how that came about, um, how it's going, where people can find the book. Mm-hmm. Okay. So yes, my book is called Don't Tell Me to Relax, Decrease Anxiety Without Lowering Your Standards. So I wrote this book for the ambitious woman who struggles with anxiety, overwhelm, and burnout that often comes with being a high achiever. You know, I am that woman. I'm the high achiever, high achiever go, go getter, hustler. And I, it's just this book, I knew I needed to write it when I was able to kind of overcome the mindset of what was driving that ridiculous hustle. And I am not against hustle. I'm still a hustler, but I've learned um, what my intentions are behind it and what the difference is between um, driving it because I'm trying to prove worth. I'm trying to prove myself and, and achieve and gain love and attention from others. Or, or now I, what I do now is <laughs> it's driven by passion and purpose and it feels good. The whole, it just feels a lot different to me. So anyway, this book is my story and it, I weave in my stories of what I've been through suffering with, with anxiety for so many years and how I, how that kind of played out for me. And then also it's, it's really my program on paper, um, which is really neat. And I knew I needed to, I'm only one person. I knew I wanted to get my program out there to more get into more hands, more women who need this message. And that's probably one of the best things that I've heard so far. And the reviews on, that I've gotten on Amazon and the messages that I'm getting back is people saying, this is so relatable. And to me, that's the best thing I could hear is for women to say, my gosh, I know I'm not alone. And that connectedness they feel to me, knowing that I've been there and I understand them and I get them. And so this book is just, it's about the mindset around seeing your anxiety differently. I'm a big believer also in knowing and and believing that anxiety has a purpose and it doesn't have to be something bad. It doesn't have to be something that controls your life and it doesn't have to be something that keeps you held back. And that's why my program is called Limitless because I feel like it doesn't have to, we don't have to have these limits put on us. We can choose to see anxiety for what it is. And what I really believe it is, is it's it's a guidance system. It's our body going, hello, something needs to change. And it usually starts off with like, you know, these little whispers, your body's like, hey, I, I, you're feeling a little stressed. I'm going to make you a little short of breath. Maybe have you sweat a little bit. I'm going to make you shake and make you nervous and make your stomach hurt and make me make you have to go to the bathroom a whole lot. And then we don't listen to any of those little subtle signs. So then all of a sudden we've got panic attacks. We are sick. We're burnt out. We have adrenal fatigue. We have disease. We're toxin overloaded. And so our body starts off by whispering at us and then it screams because we don't, we don't understand and see the signs right away a lot. And a lot of times we just ignore them, right? So um, yeah, so this book is available on Amazon right now in the Kindle format, and I'm really excited because it's coming out very soon in audio. And then the um, the actual hard hard covered book will be out um, probably late 2019 or early 2020, actually. And I, I actually have some, a secret that I will share with you today that I have not even announced on my own podcast, but I actually just found out I got picked up by a traditional publisher. Oh. So. 
I'm really excited about that. And so that's why it, rolling out of the actual, um, the physical book will take a little bit longer because it's actually going to be in bookstores, not just on Amazon. So I'm really stoked about that. Wow. So where, what, what kind of bookstores can you say? Like Barnes and Noble. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Wow, what an accomplishment. Thank you. So your pro your program is is limitless, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And that's you have like a Facebook group and stuff. Is that where it, most of the stuff happens? Yes. But in your book, you share the program so other people can can do the program. Yeah. So if you want to just buy my book and follow my book and. Yeah, that's, it's pretty much my program on paper. What, what people like to do though, if they want to work with me more personally and then have the support of other people that are also working with me, that's when they would join my program. And that, that's how they, you know, get to work with me more on a personal level. Okay. That makes more sense to the listeners, I think. Yeah. And <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I knew about your program and I knew you had a book, but I thought, okay, it's the book of your story, but okay. It's the program as well. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is so much good information. I'm so glad to have you on the podcast. I'm so glad we linked up and we made it happen. Finally, I know. Um, we had a couple of dates that we had planned and things just went crazy for us. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know, when something is important, you make time for it. And, um, we're just cheerleading for each other. It's so fun to see each other grow. Like I'm following her. She's following me. We're like being supportive of each other's businesses. It's so fun. So join us and subscribe to our podcast. Leave us reviews. Let us know that you heard each other on each other's podcast because that's always fun. And we'll always repost your photos of your comments, reviews. And we're both very into, uh, like talking to you. So we're not going to have like bots and just like never respond. Like I'm in my DMS every day. I know yeah. you are too. Yeah. And it's really important to us to connect and that's how we stay relatable. Right. So we want to hear feedback. We want to know what you hear. want to hear on future episodes as well. And if you want to hear us collab and talk more about a certain thing we talked about today, then you can vote for that and send me an email. Um, and Thank you again, Kelly. You're amazing. Thank you. Super excited. I hope to see you at Pays to Be Brave this year. And if not, maybe I'll see you at MobCon in San Diego. MobCon, yes. <laughs> I would so love that. Um, anything you want to leave our listeners with? Reach out to me. I'm a real mom, a real human being who's been there. And I understand you. I get you. And I reach out to me. I want to talk with you. I want to give you a free consult. I want to hear what's going on and see how I can help you. I'll leave you with that. Amazing. Um, you guys definitely go follow her on Instagram website. She's going to drop all that right here, right now. Yes. Follow me on Instagram. Um, I'm at Kelly Rompel one, 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 one. So it's K E L L Y R O M P E L. One 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 eleven eleven for all you spiritual woo woo girls out there, and my podcast is Rebel White Coat Podcast, and or you can just email me at Kelly Rompel Coaching at at gmail .com or Kelly Rompel .com. You can find me there too. I'm all over. Yay! Awesome. Love that you have it. Have your website name as your actual name. Yeah. It's so much easier for everyone to just go there and find all the stuff there. Um, and she will be up, um, maybe up on my blog soon. We'll be collaborating. And if we meet in person, we'll be taking photos. So make sure you find us on Instagram and we love you all. Thanks so much for listening. Thanks for having me. Talk to you guys later. All right. So that's it for this week's episode on the clean beauty podcast. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to head over to iTunes to review, rate, and subscribe to the channel until next week. Stay beautiful.